How important is your mental health? Strong mental health is considered an unavoidable requirement for success and effectiveness, while mental weakness is a sure road to failure. Our brain, being the powerhouse of our body, is so important that keeping it healthy should be a priority. A lot of poor habits can drain our mental abilities and put our physical health at risk. What is mental strength? When a person is mentally strong, it means he has a measure of resilience and control over his psychological and emotional well-being. As a result of this sound mental toughness, they can stay in touch with creativity and will be able to remain positive enough even to focus and overcome difficult situations. With strong mental health, a person's problem-solving skill is intact. This quality will also promote so much effectiveness at work. This is not the same for the mentally weak. When you are mentally strong, you are in charge of your emotions. You are not being controlled by it, but instead, you are subjecting it under you so that you can do whatever you are supposed to do. It equally means that you can perform efficiently and effectively under pressure, and your problem-solving skill will remain intact and may even be heightened. You need to be mentally strong to always be at your peak, and a lot of poor habit choices affect our mental health, promoting mental weakness. If this continues for a long time without being checked, it will lead to something drastic. As important and strong mental health is, it takes commitment, dedication, and patience to build it. As with every good thing that comes at a price, if we understood the importance of being strong mentally, perhaps it would encourage us to be willing to pay the price. We can improve our mental resilience just by making certain changes intentionally. There are things that we do that certainly hurt our mental resilience. If we would keep away from those things, you may be well on your way to building a mental fortress where your mental resilience is greatly heightened. In this video, I will be sharing with you 9 things you do to hurt your mental strength. Push these things aside and you may be well on your way to achieving long-lasting mental resilience. 1. Being indecisive People striving to make perfect decisions all the time can become mentally weak because while you're trying to make up your mind on an issue and you're indecisive about what to do, you're directly exerting pressure on your brain. With that pressure comes mental stress. Don't too much. This will lead to poor mental health. Just realize that all decisions are not usually perfect and whether you like it or not, you will always look back with regrets on certain decisions you make. If you're too afraid to make a mistake, you're most certainly bound to make a mistake. People who are slow in making decisions or who are very indecisive tend to disregard or distrust their own judgments. Since you distrust your own judgments, you would always want to be in control, which is impossible. And you may be unhappy with every result you get. Know that you can't control everything that happens to you. Trust your decisions, and if there were mistakes as a result of your choices, Successful people have learned never to take themselves too seriously. Instead, they learn from their mistakes and move on. 2. Being overly self-indulgent A self-indulgent person loves to have what he wants, when he wants it, to the extent that he wants it, without often considering the future or even thinking things through. Such a person is thrown about by his own impulses. He is a slave of his impulses, always so quick to respond to the demands of his flesh without considering how their actions affect their future or others. A self-indulgent person lives for now, and never for later. It doesn't matter how that affects him. With such recklessness, self-indulgent people do not have enough self-control and they lack the patience needed to maintain resilience mentally. It takes discipline and self-control to keep your appetite in check. If you are able to do this successfully, you are automatically becoming in charge of yourself. This builds your mental resilience. Self-indulgent people sacrifice their long-term happiness for temporary relief by responding to every little desire they have. It's discipline to not indulge and that helps your mental health. You're safe, emotionally and psychologically. 3. Being afraid to be alone Letting the fear of being alone drive your life could mess up your relationships as your fear of loneliness will affect your judgments in such relationships. While we do not discredit being abandoned in a relationship could be challenging, people who do not love to be alone or people who are mostly dead scared of being left alone do not have a deep sense of self-love. They are yet to accept themselves and they do not understand and appreciate what it takes to be in their own company and have fun anyway. As much as we humans are social beings, loving yourself means that you are comfortable with yourself and are never thrown back because you are alone or because someone left you. It may not be easy, but learning to love yourself and your own company is key to staying mentally strong. When you're always wanting to hold on to others, clinging to them because you don't want to be alone, you'll only feel more lonely, and deep down, you would still feel empty. 
Desiring the company of others before you are ever happy is attempting to cover up the emptiness you feel on the inside. As much as you should build relationships with others, learn to love and appreciate yourself and be comfortable in your own company. 4. Wanting everyone to like you Even though we all know that being a people pleaser is never a good thing, sometimes we just can't help it. Most of us have been guilty of changing some aspects of ourselves, whether it's the way we look or the way we dress or the way we act, to fit in with people we like and impress those we admire. But having such a strong need to be liked by everyone and gain their approval can foster feelings of insecurity and self-loathing. 5. Dwelling on the past Sometimes you can feel like going back to the past to change some things there. Dwelling so much on this thought and wishing things could have been better is negatively impacting your brain and affecting your mental health. Do you often wonder about what could have been and find yourself coming back to certain mistake, memory, or past relationship over and over again? Be careful. Dwelling too much on the past and not being able to move on is detrimental to your mental health. It keeps both psychological and emotional wounds from healing and only serves to make you more remorseful, sorrowful and helpless over the things that have happened to you. 6. Giving up easily Countless studies have proven that mentally strong people can remain strong and will persevere when they are faced with failure, adversity or rejection. As a result, it should come in as no surprise that giving up too easily is not good for your mental health. People who are easily discouraged by difficulty tend to be less successful, less accomplished and less emotionally fulfilled than their more determined counterparts. So, while it may feel easier just to give up sometimes, know that it may come at the cost of your mental and emotional well-being. 7. Having a sense of entitlement Having a sense of entitlement means that you feel like the world owes you something, like you deserve special treatment for no good reason. And while most of us aren't usually aware when we are acting entitled, our sense of entitlement shows every time we complain about a setback or an inconvenience, expect things just to be handed to us or get upset when we don't get our way. Mentally strong people, on the other hand, understand the value of hard work and know that no one owes us anything. 8. Letting your emotions control you While expressing your emotions can be good for you, letting them control you instead of the other way around isn't going to do your mental health any good because in getting carried away by what you're feeling, you could easily become unstable and lose your sense of control. You become emotionally volatile and let your emotions cloud your judgment, making you more prone to reckless behavior, rash decision-making, and overreacting to situations. 9. Neglecting your self-care Finally, but perhaps most importantly, neglecting to take care of your physical and emotional health will undoubtedly take toll on your mental health as well. Only when you understand the importance of self-care and start prioritizing your own well-being will you become mentally strong and stable. Ways you may be neglecting your self-care include overworking yourself, not getting enough rest, not doing the things you love, and not dealing with your emotions. If you do any of the things mentioned above, you don't have to worry or feel guilty. You can start to make the right changes so you can improve your mental strength. You can spend time to meditate, stay alone, control your emotions, manage your time well, practice self-care, and establish some boundaries in relationships. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.